Today we're going to use the concept of value to draw something using pencil or you can also use colored pencil, your choice. All the word value means is how light or dark something is. On the left we have light values here, on the right we have dark values. It can be black and white like the last picture, but it can also work with color. So you can choose what you want to do in this project. I'm going to use black and white and pencil. Now before we do this project, there's something I want you to practice. I want you to practice making different values with your pencil. You could also do this with a colored pencil. I'm going to start by making three rectangles. This does not need to be perfect. It's just important that you have three sections that you're going to make your values in. Now using a pencil or colored pencil, on the, in the first rectangle, I'm going to make the darkest value I can. Do this by pushing as hard as you can with the pencil without breaking it. Fill in the entire rectangle. In the second rectangle, make a medium value. Don't push quite as hard as you did in the first one. Fill in the whole rectangle. In the last rectangle, I'm going to push very lightly with my pencil and make a very light value. You can also do this exercise or make values with colored pencils. That's fun to do also. So now we have three values we've made with our pencil. You could do the same exercise with five, six, ten, twenty, a hundred different rectangles and make different values in each one of them. But let's start our drawing. First thing, we're going to draw something by putting shapes together. We've been doing a lot of that. You guys should know how to do that. I am going to do a robot putting simple shapes together. If you would like to do a robot, go for it. If you have a different idea, you can also do that. Just make sure you have another, enough shapes in your drawing of whatever you're drawing. Draw big. Big is beautiful. Fill your page. If you draw something that's too small and you still have a lot more on your pa room on your page, it is okay to draw more than one thing. But let's fill our page. Keep making shapes. Just put make something by putting together shapes. Make sure you have enough shapes. Because we are going to be filling those shapes in with different values with our pencil. Or colored pencil. Now I want you to think about the three values you made when using your pencil or colored pencil. We are going to fill in our shapes in whatever we drew with the different values. At least one dark, one medium, and one light. If you'd like to use more than three values, I am okay with that. You can use seven, eight, nine, a hundred. That's up to you. But I am requiring that you use at least three values when um, finishing this drawing. Take your time. We don't need any scribbly artwork. Just keep filling in your shapes with your different values. I should be able to see the different shapes and I should be able to um, see where you change those values. It's kind of tricky at first, but if you stick with it, I bet it'll be pretty easy for you to make these different values. If you're done with your robot or whatever it is that you're drawing, um, you can give it a background that kind of brings your artwork together, um, but you can also use value inside your background also. I'm going to make kind of a futuristic city or something that my robot lives in, but you can make whatever you want. I really hope you like this. I can't wait to see what you're um, drawing with your values. And think about this when you do your drawings, because value is something that artists use and now you can use it too. Enjoy.